Hey, welcome to uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I guess you can tell we're getting ready to do a bit of night hiking. Bears don't come out at night, do they? He's a real nowhere man, going to where no one can. This is the bridge to nowhere. <laughs> Hold that for a second. You want to tell the folks where we are? We are at the Road to Nowhere in Bryson City. And we're on the way to? A campsite 74. So it must be a road to somewhere. Yeah. The uh, Benton Mackay Trail will take us from the road to nowhere to our campsite. So we're going the right way. Woohoo! We arrived at campsite 74 on the Benton Mackay Trail. And Roach, I would bet, left this fire burning for us. Kind of like a Motel 6. He left the light on. Uh, recognized Walter's car in the parking lot when we took off. He's usually the one night hiking. We got here at midnight, and it's about 1 in the morning. We kind of rekindled the fire and just kind of relaxing before we hit the hammocks. Guys, we got Detail Man demonstrating the sheet bend connection. Sheet uh, bend. Sheet bend. Uh, sheet bend is something because it is another one. And he's connecting the fly line to the Lillian using this knot. And according to Detail Man, we don't have to worry about the stopper knot failing on the Lillian. Just winding up the uh, line for poo so that she's not having to have her rod out extended. So. And for you guys that don't know, this is the Weisenberg Fish Camp. <laughs> and uh, he says we will be eating fish tonight. We will. Have to go out and club and we'll catch I think a lot of us brought Uncle Ben's just in case. Now that's a side dish. Her first cast. This is Forney Creek, and we made camp about 25 yards away. Woke up this morning, uh, the cold was 32. I think everyone knows about the caldera cone and a lot of people know about the caldera fissure and today big excitement we're playing with the grizz jet that's this little bitty felt burner and we're going to see how it does in a caldera cone system here you see the two cones put together and the cup of water that's going to be soon hot and the grizz jet Okay, the caldera fissure is set up, and the grizz jet is inside doing its thing. Uh, the grizz jet, ladies and gentlemen, it works. It works really very efficiently and very fast in a caldera system. Pay attention to it. Hey, we're in Great Smoky Mountain National Park, so you would uh, not be surprised to see the horse people come in. Beautiful horses. Everyone knows about the Tom Brown Tracker. This is the new Tom Brown. It's the Micro, or Mini. And just like its big brother, it's got a little draw knife on it. And we're just seeing uh, 
how it works as a draw rod. And for a little bitty knife, it's not bad. And here's the knife itself, the mini Tom Brown tractor. And in a few minutes, we'll uh, try to dowel a piece of wood with it. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, as you can see, uh, this little bitty knife is great for doweling, making kindling. Okay, guys, if I had to notch for a figure four trap, we'd want to use the little saw function of this little mini TB tracker. And really all I need uh, is a notch for that trigger board to fit in. So you can see with this little saw, basic notching, not a problem. This is where Forney Creek meets Fontana Lake. Yeah, uh, Detail Man is uh, doing the parade of hammocks, which we do at some of these group hangs, and he's showing off a lot of this DIY stuff. And this little, uh, what'd you call it, a gear hammock? Yes, yeah, a gear hammock. Very cool. I don't remember who had the first one I saw. Uh, I want to say it may have been McIntyre. Yeah. And just had a piece of leftover fabric, so I just did a miniature gathered in hammock. Got some uh, lash it uh, whoopee slings, and they attach up to the uh, Dutch buckles I have on my suspension to the hammock and uh, just got a string tying it off over to one of my uh, stakes for the tarp keeps it off the quilt and the advantages are uh, everything's it right there at arm's reach and off the ground yeah. we're continuing the parade of hammocks and Roach is up he's showing Poof uh, his setup It's a mini cell, quarter inch. I made a duplicate. So I'm, I'm working out, you know, how uh, the cold level layers I can accept. This is deep jungle? Deep jungle. With deep the double jungle. bottom, and you're double showing bottom. some insulation that right. you've added. This is his Reflectix pad, which fits nice, covers your shoulders, down your feet. I bought some mini cell or foam. And it's so slimmy in its appearance. <laughs> and this is also my Halloween outfit. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. This is I a, a lima giant. bean. This is a JRB stealth. <laughs> no, this is a no snow one. No snow This is retro. This is uh, the Sergeant Rock inspired no snow one right here. Yeah. Roach is uh, checking out the oh, new yeah. Cuban yeah. Paca. This is by Cedar Tree. And Roach said, as long as it doesn't make him look fat. I feel kind of buff in this. Yeah, pull that hood up, man. Let's see you disappear. I, I love the uh, green color. I think he's got a winner there. Yeah. Yeah, you do look a little fat in that. The camera always puts on 10 pounds. It does, yeah. Let's go in full storm mode. That's my uh, wife. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I like that. And he glued it in. Wow. It's glued in Cuban, so you don't have to worry about seams or. Are looking for something. Where's my chapstick? I'm always grabbing for the video oh, camera, which okay. goes there. Yeah. Hey, it's my cousin, Mr. Green. <laughs> What kind of vegetables are you guys for Halloween? has her green there too, where we have all three things. Weisenberg, the lima bean, and what are you? You're the... Uh, I, I'm split pea soup. Split pea. <laughs> I was thinking the rotund cucumber. Yeah, show off that packa. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. <laughs> hey, uh, again, special thanks to Cedar Tree for finally getting the Cuban packa on the market. These are custom made for you. One thing I love about it, thank you very much, Eddie, is this little hidden pocket. 
You never know it's there. Look at it disappear. But I'm always reaching for the video camera. Maybe your droid or your iPhone would fit in there. Nice little attention to detail with a uh, little wristlet pulls, tighten up. Uh, it's obviously not raining right now, but it's cold. And I'm using everything I've got to stay warm and it's a great little wind block. We got maybe a little five mile an hour wind coming through here. Nice little over flap on the exterior zipper. Eddie's done a good job. Go pack up. Walter's using the Thai Tri Caldera system. I think he's got an alcohol burner mode right now, but he'll also use wood. And those accoutrements for the wood insert are right here that you see. Also, we'll do <coughs> as bit. Cool. This is uh, my setup for the night. Uh, same as the last time and the time before it. I uh, used the pole mod this time, and I think that was uh, at least questioned or people were curious about pole mods on the forum post. Um, also, there were two posts on pads. Do you still carry a pad, uh, and have you ever had to go to ground? Uh, my answer is yes, I still carry a pad. I will always try to carry a pad, and yes, I've had to go to ground. This is uh, the pad that... Um, is a substitute for the pad that came in the ohm. Last night I used it as supplemental insulation from the feet probably up to my hips. From hips up to head of course was the down under quilt. And here's the pad installed into the ohm. Just replacing the, the much thinner OEM. But this pad big enough if you had to go to ground you could make do with it. Hey, Shug. We're thinking about you. Wish you were here. Hey, Grizz. It's a beautiful day down here in the Smoky Mountains. Thinking about you today, so I wish you were here. Hey, Grizz and Shug. It's a beautiful day. Hope you guys can make it out soon, and uh, we're enjoying the great outdoors. Have a good one. Okay, so uh, we're hiking out. Getting to see a lot of what we didn't see on that night hike in. Here's the bridge to nowhere in daylight, which means we're very close to where we started. Bridge to nowhere. Bridge to Road. nowhere. Road. Road to nowhere. Road to nowhere. You have to admit, this is a different kind of national park experience. Ladies, I thought you were counting.